to the wall You might hear the motherfucking balls hit the back of the booty cheeks That bitch clapping for many weeks I know that she be weak Cause she need to feast So I gave her chicken in the dickens like Charles did I be going cuckoo crazy, I be a baby I wish I had a cuckoo bear But I don't, so I go and bear down That bitch bear is brown, it's a brown bear Don't go there, it's very clear that that bitch is queer I'm going over to the clear side of the sky That bitch high, oh my, I know that I realize my potential So I go into the full scale, I'm wisdom That bitch, she be tripping, she needs some cataclysm Up into that pussy, so I put the semen in it Then I let them do their business, I be moving around the town Getting stabbed over and over. <laughs> I know, look at I'm already bleeding Holy all over the place. Crap. There's a party over there with like little kids. And I couldn't stop <laughs> saying that word. Oh my god. Well that Jesus. that went really well. That was great. Yeah, that was that was great. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna go wash my hands so yeah, all the blood off of me it. Me too. I got the stigmata. <laughs> I got I got the herb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, news check, news check, news check, news check. Since when has this been a family channel? Oh, never? Okay. I mean, dude, I, I shouldn't even have to be going into this. I get so many comments about I was watching this video with my daughter. Things are uncomfortable now. Of course they're uncomfortable. I'm talking about sex, <laughs> pussy, weed. I'm talking about all the good goods in this world. And you're watching it with your daughter. If you want to watch anything with your children, I bet you throw on Blue's Clues there, kiddo. If anything, I'm probably helping your daughter. Watching my videos is only going to help her. Don't come bitching to me about it's all your fault, man, that I watched the video with my daughter. But it was your video, and it was swearing and talking about sex and stuff. Man, that's all your fault, man, Noah. That's really bad on you, man. Uh, no it's not! It's your fault, dude. Let them watch. Let them soak in it. Let them bask in it. Because I'm telling you, they might learn something valuable. Because if you're just getting sheltered your whole life, you're gonna be fucked up up there, and you're gonna be getting fucked up in your ass. Because that's where they're gonna be putting it. Because they're gonna be like, oh, Jesus. No pussy sex, only anal sex. Do you want your daughter to have an anal sex? No? Well then keep watching the fucking video. If you want her to have anal sex, pause the video. Get out of here, man, because that's where it's going and it has been. I gotta cool down, take a shower. Alright, I just got here and I'm noticing a few weird things already. Maybe that's like the air conditioning or something, but there's like this weird hum. 
It's pretty loud, and I haven't heard that before. But also, where the fuck did the TV go? What? That's... That's something. Next up is Artemis. And I was actually petting her on the head earlier and she was falling asleep. It's cool, her neck has like a leopard pattern. It's something that's not really talked about a lot, but it's actually really cool. My hair's a little messy, I know. I need a haircut. I know, I know, I know. Shut up, shut the fuck up. I am now hours away from standing on stage. Only a few hours. Two to three, I don't know right now. I'm nervous. I got these butterflies in my chest. Just because I want to do well. I think anybody that does anything wants to do well. I've prepared some jokes. And I think that's the part I'm nervous for. I know that I can freestyle shit. I've never done this before, but I know I'm good at crowd work. I can roast anybody. I've been doing this since kindergarten. That shit's easy to me. If there was no COVID, I would have probably already been done this video. Point is, I'm fucking nervous. And you can tell because I'm blabbling to distract myself from the point. I'm nervous. I'm excited, nervous, happy. I'm excited to meet new people. I, I really hope I get to make some friends tonight. Get to crack some jokes, have a good time, and just fucking enjoy being alive. And enjoy our use of freedom of speech. You know? Well, I did it, guys. But I accidentally called a woman fat. And I know how women are about that thing, and I, and I never, I never meant for it. It's not something that I'm proud of. <laughs> <laughs> I, of course, I was just trying to make a joke because I ran out of jokes and there was a woman wearing all red Okay, she had she had red up here down there. She was wearing red earrings She was in the back and she was looking down not paying attention at least that's what it looked like to me Maybe she I don't know and I looked at her and I, and I just was like oh damn is that little uh, red riding hood back there? Looks like she gained a few LBs <laughs> And nobody laughed Not even a single soul and, and the room probably had 30 to 50 people in it. Not a single soul laughed. And, um, that was terrifying. Like, it was, um, I was looking at the ground because I was, like, ashamed. And, like, I think I closed my eyes to even block out, like, that where I was. I was just trying to go through content. And it felt like my soul hid within myself. Like, my human flesh. I didn't feel like I usually do. Like, right now, I feel this. I feel I can do anything with my body, right? I could jerk off, I could do whatever. But in that moment, I felt separated from this. And honestly, I didn't do bad. I didn't do great, but I mean, probably for a first timer, I'll give myself a six. That's not a 10, baby. That's not bad. You know, I had some laughters. I had some big laughter. The one joke that I was hoping to go well that I thought would go well actually did. So that was fun. I don't know, it's just like a dream of mine. And I finally did it. And, you know, it's actually, it's a very interesting moment right now because everybody watching this right now is in the same boat as me. I have zero stand-up comedy history besides what I just did last night. I want you guys to try to join your journey. I'm trying to follow my dreams. I'm going to try my hardest. Listen, I have a fucking, I look at the poster every day in my room. It's a Michael Jordan poster. It says some people want things to happen, some people wish things to happen, and others make it happen. When you have these quotes in your head, you feel unstoppable. And the older I get, I don't know if I'm just lucky or if there's truth behind what I just said in that we are unstoppable and that only stops you. Nobody else stops you. They can push you back, but they can't stop you. You decide. So I feel like a fucking pastor right now, like telling you to fucking join Christ, but I'm not. I'm, what I'm saying is I'm, I'm trying to follow my dreams and I'm just trying to show you guys that it's possible. That's all I'm trying to do because I think that the life, this life that I live and the world we live in and the humans that we are, you know, when you think about it, this shit's so random. It's so random for everything to happen and to evolve over the millions and billions of years. For it to be right now, it's so random. So please join me on my journey and I would do the same for you. You know, let's try to reach our dreams together. All right, I've been talking for a while.
<clears throat> Follow your dreams, bitch. Okay. We're good. We're good. That's what you want. Oh. We're good. We're good. Holy baby Kush is out. Okay, so this is the first time baby Kush has been out. Yeah, and he's like I thought. I kind of did think that he wouldn't try to strike at you. And uh, he hasn't so far. He did take a run for your face. He did. But he just was running and he jumped. That was actually really scary, though. His brain is working, right? He's no longer flight and fright. He's actually thinking things through. And this is absolutely... I haven't gotten funnier. The show has gotten really bad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm funny compared to, you know, well, you'll see later. 